Hello folks, uh, Dat from Arise here. Um, just wanted to put out a quick video. Um, I know, you know, this past year, 2024, has been uh, a lot of kind of AI agent talk. I know year 2023 was the year of the rag. This year definitely seems to be uh, the year of the agents and, and getting them to work. And so if you're familiar with some of the frameworks out there, there's a lot. Um, one very unique one is Crew AI. The way you can think about it or the way they've maybe abstracted upwards is kind of, you, you kind of define um, these kind of agents. You can think of them as like crew members or kind of teammates, or if you're like a big fan of, you know, the one person startup or the one person company where it's maybe one human and, and many kind of AIs working with that human, um, they've kind of abstracted in that way. And so maybe the best way to maybe describe the framework is to maybe go into the documentation. So um, this is the main page, but I found the, the documentation super helpful um, to really get through the concepts. So the way you can think about crew, um, you know, you can define these things called, you know, agents, or you can think of them as like team members, or you can think your own like AI employees. But the idea is that you'll kind of define, you know, hey, this is this agent, here's kind of the role, uh, they'll play the goal, some backstory. You can find a lot of things, what tools they have kind of access to. In the same way you would like define um, maybe a job title in a company, you can define kind of this agent and what it's gonna be good at or uh, what it's kind of, um, you know, what it's kind of persona will be. And so these agents will have, you know, um, you can assign an agent a specific task or teams of agents a specific task so they can work through and, you know, in the same way like humans work together as a team to accomplish maybe more complex tasks, uh, Crew AI is kind of the abstraction of that uh, into kind of the agent world. So really cool stuff. And of course these agents um, can use things like tooling calls. Um, you can define things like, you know, how should the process actually be executed? Um, there's actually a lot of like um, kind of robustness and choices to be chosen here in terms of how do I want to orchestrate my you can think crew AI app. So that's what we'll go through today. Um, pretty cool um, abstraction um, upwards is the way I'd kind of describe it. And so that's kind of the first technology we'll use. Now the second technology we'll use today kind of in this demo is, is really uh, Arise Phoenix. So Arise Phoenix is an open source uh, observability kind of tool, um, kind of with a direct integration into Crew AI, really helpful in terms of just trying to figure out, hey, you know, um, what are things going right or wrong in kind of my crew AI application really gives you visibility into kind of what's what's happening. So if you could think you're the human manager managing these AI agent teams, maybe you want to get some visibility. Oh, you know, this particular crew AI agent is doing really well, but then, you know, when something gets handed off, maybe something's getting lost. But the whole idea is like, maybe you want some kind of observability to figure out what's happening or maybe improve how these agents kind of work together. So those will be the two technologies we'll be kind of working with. Of course, uh, I'll kind of use the local instance of kind of, uh, I'll deploy Phoenix into a Docker container locally, but um, I've also packaged up uh, like a quick example that you can just run in a notebook. So if you are using Crew AI today, you can just pull this kind of notebook right here um, under the docs. Uh, and this will all just kind of run, run locally and you can get a feel for it. Or you can kind of follow me today and then run run Arise Phoenix kind of in a local instance of, of Docker. But really for the setup um, today, you know, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the application. It's a really simple one. It's actually the one off of the, the main docs from Crew AI. But um, you know, here, <clears throat> there's only like two things you'll really need to get this example running. And it's an open AI key and a SERPer API key, um, SERP or search engine results page key, just so that we can find information on the internet so that our the quote unquote agents can can use the internet to, you know, uh, finish the task we're doing. So um, the first agent we've defined is kind of a senior research analyst, and of course, its goal is to, you know, uncover cutting edge developments in AI and data science. Great. There's some backstory here, um, <coughs> and we can kind of set some other kind of parameters here. Um, but the key is that we've kind of defined our first agent that we've called kind of a researcher, uh, and next we want to maybe define a second agent who's really good at. Uh, maybe writing, so a tech content strategist. So the whole idea is we have one kind of entity or AI agent that's good at researching and the other one that's good at writing. And then we will we'll give it a task to say, hey, can you do an analysis of maybe the latest achievements in AI? And then maybe kind of write write about it. So create a blog so that we can have kind of engagement. 
And so that'll be kind of the application. It's a really simple one, but the, the idea is still kind of the same or we just have these two things working together and we want to see how well it's kind of working. So I think the first step is, um, <coughs> so I have the application in kind of local code here, but I don't want to run it quite yet. What I actually want to do is uh, spin up uh, Arise Phoenix. So what I can do is, I'll just show you here. You just kind of Google uh, Arise Phoenix Docker. This will kind of show up. Um, we have kind of the Docker image here in, in Docker Hub. And so what I'll actually do is, um, I'll just run through the docs here, but I really just need two commands. So right now I have, um, you know, Docker desktop running, but I'm actually gonna use my terminal here. Um, so the first thing I wanna do is just pull down Arise Phoenix, right? Um, while that's kind of downloading, I'll grab um, the second command, just Docker run. And so once that's downloaded, um, I'm gonna go ahead and run uh, the image that I just kind of pulled down. <coughs> so we'll let that run. And then um, <clears throat> this should give me, when I run this, so I should notice in my Docker uh, Docker desktop that I now have this new image. And then um, one of my can containers should be running that image now. So we'll make sure this is kind of finished. Um, so this will kind of pop up. So you'll say, hey, Phoenix is running. Uh, and it'll say, hey, here's your Phoenix um, UI. So I'll kind of grab this and then kind of come here. So here I have um, my kind of local instance of Arise Phoenix. So pretty straightforward. There's nothing in here right now, of course, because I just spun it up and we don't have anything running. And so <clears throat> kind of all that I did here was take that application and then I just ran this line of code, which is create instrument or dot instrument. Um, and it's really just an import in that line. And again, the same code, we have the kind of first agent and the second agent and these two tasks. And I kind of want to just run this. So I'll run this locally and just kind of see what happens. So, <coughs> so the application will kind of run here and we'll just kind of see um, what kind of happens. So here it looks like things are kicking off. Um, <clears throat> Here it looks like there's some kind of, uh, you know, this is kind of coming from the SERP results. So I think the research analyst is kind of looking at, hey, what's what's the latest and greatest in, in AI? Uh, it's continuing to do so. And so um, kind of at the end of this, um, you kind of look at this kind of back and forth happening between um, maybe both kind of agents. One's kind of doing research and the other one's kind of kind of writing. Um, and the whole idea is that, um, okay, this is continuing, finishing the chain. And then at the end of this, uh, I'm left with kind of an article, right? So I can, I can see through like the terminal, like what's been kind of being searched on. Um, but at the end of this, I'm left with, you know, the, the ultimate task of creating an engaging kind of blog post. Um, and it's, you know, unleashing the future of key AI adva advancements in 2024, and then, you know, revolutionizing healthcare with AI. And so I've kind of got the blog post that I, that I kind of tasked these two agents with. And so what happened and in, in how can I understand? Because that was a lot of, you know, code that was kind of outputted from the terminal. And so if I come back to Arise Phoenix, one really cool thing is now I see something kind of new here, and it's that kickoff. Um, and so the output was ultimately that that blog post, but there was so much that happened um, in that application just now that maybe I want to get some sort of visibility into it. So I could expand um, all of the kind of traces and views that I have in that particular um, application call. And so if you do notice, um, a lot happened. Right, so um, we kind of had a kickoff. Um, we had our first task kind of being executed. And the whole idea of this is that one, I can start to get some visibility into what happened. What was the input and output from each process uh, inside of Crew AI? Because if you you know use Crew AI, you'll kind of notice that um, there's just a lot happening in there. Um, and so if there was a tool usage and we went and searched for an article to see what's the latest and greatest in, in AI, can I go and understand that? But the really cool thing is, um, this is kind of an out of the box kind of example, but you can do things like add attributes to specific um, parts of the code being executed. Um, you can really get a sense of like, hey, um, you know, we pulled back a particular, I don't know, uh, 
for example, I don't know if this happened, but we pulled back uh, an article that maybe wasn't super apparent in in helping us write this article. Maybe I can go and understand, oh, maybe what was the search terms for that being used by the AI agent for that particular tool. Um, when the AI agents kind of interacted with each other, is there a way I can get like visibility kind of as the human manager into this stuff? And so it's really cool. It's really out of the box to just be able to get some sort of visibility, especially if you're building with Crew AI. So I wanna just highlight um, just a quick example. And again, I'll link these examples um, with the video so that you can you can get visibility of your kind of crew a AI agents yourself. But I hope you enjoyed uh, this very quick and kind of fast tutorial on you know how to get visibility uh, with Arise Phoenix with Crew AI. Thanks.